Welcome to Great Online Training. This is Naidu. I'm a SaaS trainer and programmer. In this video, I'm going to explain a series of videos on SaaS clinical programming interview question and answers. Let's get started. The next question is, what are the difference between phase 1, 2, 3 and 4 in a clinical trials? Do you know that? if they ask you. Yes, as I said earlier in my first question or somewhere I have discussed already that uh, what is the phase 1, phase 2 and phase 3 and phase 4. Any of the clinical trial drug, maybe nowadays the vaccinations, any of these vaccinations to came out from the uh, hospitals and releasing into the market and all. So we need to do a clinical trials. In this we have a phase 1, phase 2 and phase 3, four phases also need to be completed. So what is this uh, uh, phase one? Phase one is nothing but uh, they'll take very less number of people, less than 30 members, they'll take it here and they will check that how safe the drug is only. Okay, they'll check only the safety in phase one. Okay, they'll not check for any efficacy or how effective the drug they are all not checking. Just they'll check that phase one study within the phase one that how many are participated and how safe the drug is because after done with a uh, uh, preclinical trial with animal uh, testing and all completed directly they are just doing this clinical trial on the human beings so they will not check that how effective the drug is they will check only how safe it is for that particular 30 members phase 2 study yes they will go for how safe the drug is at the same time how effective the drug also they will look into it plus the number of patients is bit more when compared to phase 2. Phase 2 you have a th less than 30 but phase 2 you will have a 30 to 100. Okay? But this time they will check the how safe the drug is and as well as how effective the drug is because how safe the drug is required for the FDA guys because the drug should not kill anyone. That is their intention is mainly. That's the reason why how safe the drug is. But how effective the drug is who is caring about it? The organizations who is making this particular uh, a drug they are just worried about how effective because the drug is not much effective then there is chance that uh, it will not be used or it will not be consumed by the persons who is outside right so that simple it is so we need to make sure that means the uh, sponsor we call it as a, that organization names are a sponsor sponsors is always worried about how effective the drug is and we are coming to the phase 3 phase 3 is nothing but you will have it uh, uh, you will have a safety and efficacy also they look into it with a huge number of population okay up to thousand as I said apart from that in the phase 3 they'll try to do some comparisons also suppose the drug is already working suppose imagine you have a paracetamol and you have a paracetamol with acylophenic as a new content so the paracetamol drug is which is already there in the market so this particular new drug how powerful than the paracetamol which is the existing one there will be a, some comparator things also they will do in the phase 3. They will look for safety and efficacy and as well as comparisons also they will do with the existing drug which is there in the market. The last one is called phase 4 studies. What is this phase 4? Once that particular drug is released into the market, how will the drug is working? Because this is also very important. When you are doing it up to phase 3, up to 1000 members and all it's working well. Imagine when it is a huge population, is it giving a good results or not? Like you see that recently, you can see a Brupin is a tablet. It's just got uh, uh, not solding by the uh, medical shops and all right now. Because it's banned. It's banned because it is just giving you some heart related problems, the Brupin tablet. So that's the reason why they stopped it. Okay, so th that's the reason why here also here you can see that it's a phase 4. So the phase 4 is nothing but to talk about uh, is after releasing the drug is there any uh, issues with this particular drugs and all you can able to get it on the phase 4. So phase 1 with less than 30 people and phase 2 with less than 100, phase 3 with less than 1000, phase 4 with less than sorry greater than thousands. Phase 1, they'll just check for only how safe the drug is. Phase 2, they'll check for safety and efficacy. Phase 3 also, they'll check for safety and efficacy. Plus, they are doing a comparison also in the phase 3. And phase 4, they'll go for, is there any uh, market after releasing into the market? Uh, so, is there any uh, issues with that particular drug and all? They'll just see that. So, this is the explanation you need to give it. Uh, the differences between your phase 1, 2, 3 and 4. So, of this particular clinical trials.